It is reputed that he is also a member of Prince Hall Freemasonry. Barack Obama, like all the other black leaders in America, is a Freemason. This is a poster that was published, and it was advertised on the Internet, welcoming fellow Masons to come to the Masonic inaugural ball in honor of the 44th President of the United States, Barack Obama, conducted by the Lodge there in Washington, D.C. Barack Obama and his Masonic inaugural ball. On their website, the Prince Hall Masons, that is the black, the black Freemasons. You see, there's always been a separation of the whites and the blacks. And here on their own website, they campaign for Barack Obama. If we get a list, and I show you here a partial list, of famous Prince Hall Freemasons, we find many black names on it. There is, of course, Sugar Ray Robinson, the famous boxing champion. But there's also Julian Bond, the national chairman of the NAACP, Thomas Bradley, mayor of Los Angeles. There's the black revolutionary during the 60s, Eldridge Cleaver, and it goes on and on. Reverend Jesse Jackson is a member of the Harmony Lodge in Chicago, Illinois, no less. There's Quisi M. Fumi of Baltimore, Maryland Lodge. There's Congressman Charles Rangel of New York of the Joppa Lodge, number 55. And Reverend Al Sharpton, New York City civil rights leader, also a Mason. And then there's this man. Yes, David Patterson, the current governor of New York. They say he's legally blind. Well, maybe in more ways than physically. He, too, according to to the internet is a Freemason. He was raised as a Freemason in Boyer Lodge Number 1, located in Harlem. Another Freemason is Hugo Chavez, president of Venezuela, a socialist. Here he is giving a Masonic handshake with his comrade pal, Barack Obama. Why do I use the term comrade? Well, because that's what Hugo Chavez calls him, comrade Barack. This is a artist painting of Chicago's Masonic Temple. Look at what a huge building it is. Many of the buildings and the architecture of the city of Chicago, Illinois, where Obama hails from, is Masonic in origin, including this black, all black ebony building. And notice nearby the Egyptian Masonic obelisk. The all-seeing eye that's on our dollar bill, of course, is a Masonic symbol. And then if we really want to know who the God of Barack Obama is, maybe we should go to a Masonic publication. Maybe we could turn to the New Age magazine of September 1950, page 551, in this article written by a Freemason, C. William Smith, entitled, God's Plan in America. Is it also Obama's plan in America? Well, here's what the plan is all about. Mr. Smith wrote, God's plan is dedicated to the unification of all races. Well, of course, the Jews do not agree to that because they refuse to be assimilated into the Gentile race. But Mr. Smith continues that God's plan, that is the Masonic God, is dedicated to the unification of all races, religions, and creeds. All religions and creeds. This plan is dedicated, he says, to the new order of things. It is to make all things new. Now we have the reason for Obama's change. A new nation. A non-sectarian religion. In other words, a religion that doesn't believe in just one God. A religion that has already been called the religion of the great light. The goal, he says, is to unfold the new age of the world, a novus ordo seclorum. Now, one of the things the Masons do is take an oath to protect their Masonic brothers. And this has been very convenient for Masonic politicians throughout the decades. From Ronane's Handbook of Masonry, page 183, we have the oath, the statement of belief of Masons. It says, you must conceal all crimes of your brother Masons. And should you be summoned as a witness against a brother Mason, be always sure to shield him. It may be perjury to do this, <laughs> says the Masonic Guide. It is true, but you're keeping your obligations. So what is Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, Charles Rangels, the Rothschilds, yes, the Rothschilds, according to the book, 10,000 Famous Freemasons, Mayer Amschel Rothschild, the first baron of the Rothschild clan, was a Mason. All Rothschilds are Masons. And what is required of them? But to conceal all the crimes of their brother Masons, even if it means perjury. The Jewish Tribune, back in 1927 in New York City, gave us 
an idea of what masonry is all about? Masonry, said the Jewish Tribune, is based on Judaism. Eliminate the teachings of Judaism from the Masonic ritual and what is left? Freemasonry, thoroughly Judaic. Greg Hallett in his book, How to Take Over the World, page 92 says, the leaders of the Freemasons were the Illuminati and the Illuminati were the Rothschilds. Manley P. Hall, 33rd degree, in his classic textbook, The Lost Keys of Freemasonry, page 78 says, something very interesting about Freemasonry. He says, when the Mason learns that the key is the proper application of the dynamo of living power, he has learned the mystery of his craft. The seething energies of Lucifer are in his hands. The Masons seek the seething energy of their master, Lucifer. Remember the words of Jesus, no man can serve two masters. Is Lucifer really the master of the lodge? Well, that's according to John Quincy Adams, one of the most brilliant presidents in American history, sixth president of the United States. In his book, Letters on Freemasonry, he exposed the Masonic sect. He said that it is a tool of Lucifer. And he said more. John Quincy Adams warned that Masonry ought forever to be abolished. It is wrong. It is a seed of evil, said the president, which can never produce any good. In my own book, Codex Magica, I noted that Robespierre, the butcher who cut off so many heads at the guillotine during the French Revolution, was a Freemason. Adam Weishaupt, Order of the Illuminati, founder, was a Freemason. Napoleon, who brought hundreds of thousands to battlefields to be slain, was a Freemason. Stalin, who according to Solzhenitsyn, the Nobel Prize winner, was a Freemason. And he killed up to 66 million Soviet citizens. Mussolini, the Italian dictator, was a Freemason. Truman, who exploded two atomic bombs and perhaps unnecessarily killed tens of thousands of Japanese, was a Freemason, as was Roosevelt. Ariel Sharon, called the Butcher of Lebanon, was a Freemason. Bill Clinton of Monica Lewinsky fame was a Freemason. Fidel Castro who tortured so many and put so many innocent people into jail cells in Cuba, a Freemason. I'm at Ed. Prime Minister Netanyahu of Israel, yes, a Mason. Barack Obama, a Mason. And no doubt, the Antichrist himself will be a Freemason. Now, we see that Barack Obama is a Freemason. How did he become a member of a lodge? Who chose him? Is Freemasonry, in fact, a Jewish sect? Well, we have found out that is exactly the case. And again, we are faced with the mystery. We already know then, he's a Mason. He practices Jewish ritual, Jewish religion through Freemasonry. Yes, we're finding out a lot about Barack Obama. And the president outlined his vision of a new world order in which the U.S. would participate fully. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. We meet here at a moment of testing for Europe and the United States and for the international order that we have worked for generations to build.